Hiya Star Wars fans and welcome to the channel. On today's video it's pickups, yeah, went to Sandown Toy Fair yesterday and uh, got a few other figures turned up in the post. So if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe and enjoy the video. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's pickups. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had some pickups doing loads and loads of shorts at the moment I uh, hope you're not sick of them <laughs> just to help the channel uh, don't forget I've got my giveaway now I've just reached over 1500 so I shall be doing the giveaway within the next couple of weeks probably be over the weekend keep you posted you'll know when it's going to happen probably be in the evening UK time so keep an eye out for that I'll put a link make sure you've subscribed and leave, leave a comment in the video you never know you could win a nice little batch of figures right let's kick on so yeah got a few figures from uh, ZG toys of the day so yeah I've got a couple so uh, you've got the Luke Imperial light cruiser what a cool figure I love the car back it's really good you can just make out Mark Hamill's face there <laughs> but yeah one thing is why is there a palace blaster in why do Hasbro keep doing that they don't need to put the palace blaster in there do they they don't need to do it it doesn't use it he's a jedi now full jedi he doesn't need the gun it's a bit but yeah you get the hilt lightsaber nice black cloak now I like it nice card back see the other figures we get in the line nice few figures there so yes of course andor had to pick andor up that's the first Andor figure I've got. I didn't get the, the Rogue One one. I missed out on that one. But yeah, it's great to get it. The face sculpt is really good on this. Really good. Really good. Yeah, it's really good. I like that. Nice Blade runner in it with a coat and the gun. I love that gun as well, which is an official gun from... Ah, oh, Shadows of the Empire, is it? Cole, is it Cole Kittans or... But dash renders, I'm not sure whose gun it is, but it's a cool gun. Someone out there knows probably better than me. But yeah, there we are, 263. Love that, love that, love the Andor bit there. Some people really don't like this series, I, I think it was great. It's a good series, very slow burn. We'll look forward to the second one. I think they're filming in London at the moment. I've heard that the Lloyd's building and the Barbican area again. So uh, yeah, that should be fun. Here we go, the Artillery Stormtrooper. Army builder this, isn't it? I think this is really hard to get your hands on. I think this is sold out. They always do the troopers, don't they? And then, they, then a load pop up later on, pretty well cheap. So you never know, you might get your hands on it still if you haven't got it. I think I've got a couple of more coming. I've bought myself a Black Series. I've got a Dr. Everson coming and a Val, the other Andor. Is it? No, no, not Val, um, the Clactoonian Raider. I've got him coming as well this week, so I look forward to that. Yeah, we had a pickup. We should go into detail about this in a minute. Yeah, the Qui Gon Jin. I went to Sandown Toy Fair yesterday. Um, it was packed. Even we went, me and my friend Julian went at half past seven. We got there, and it was a massive queue because that's all the sellers. But we got the early bird, and it was crammed from eight o'clock onwards. And then, of course, everyone else comes in at ten. Oh, banged around. It was busy. I've never seen it because it's the first one of the year. And I looked around. There was some really good stuff. It was really hard to choose. I think my Julian found, found a few bits. But I saw this and my mate spotted it. And uh, it was on for about 195 Knocked him down to 180 and said, yeah, we'll come back. I had to think about it. It was still there. Half an hour later, had to get it. It's such a nice one. So he knocked him down to 170, Julian did, and he's good at borrowing. He's cheeky, does it? <laughs> I could never do that, but I do make off a bit. He knocked him down and he took it. So that was great. Yeah, so we got that. Really chuffed with it. So he's never been out. I, he said he's never been out of box and it hadn't. I looked. He's, I had to take all the plastic wrapping around the neck and everything. So that was still on there. I had to take the head off. But we'll open the box now and we'll show you a bit more like the cape and stuff. But I just love this pose. So first, when you take the lid off, you've got this really nice picture fighting Darth Maul there. Look, you can see the swishy blade. I think these work, definitely work better when there's um, when you connect it to the, you've got an arm inside, I'll show you in a minute, where you, where you can put batteries in it and light the actual lightsaber up. I think it looks a lot better, but I bet they've done this with a bit of, you know, 
Photoshop, but it does need to look cool, doesn't it? I'm very tempted now to got to hunt down a Darth Maul. I don't care what Darth Maul I get. I think even the uh, the animated one that's out, I think it's still quite a cheap one. Not many people like it with the metal legs. So I think that would look really good with, with the fighting, clashing. I don't think it really matters, but yeah, it's my collection. I compose what I like. <laughs> right. Okay, this inside the box. So as you can see, we get a nice selection of hands. We get loads of like holographic bits as well, which is cool. So you see, so you get the cloak, you get the ship. You remember the ship when you were, and they get the oh, loads of little bits. There's the arm which you fit the batteries into, and then you can light the lightsaber up. There's your standard uh, blade, and there's a there is a cape in the back which shows get out. Yeah, so here you go. Here's with the cloak on. Yeah, you've got to take some sort of fiddling about with it, but I do like it. I could spend that quite a few hours sort of posing it, but you've got a wire as well in the hood, so you can get, you can still show the face. I like this. It hangs. It really does look really big. I guess it could do with an iron because it's been folded up in the box for some time, but yeah, I do like it. So you can sort of play around with it. There's no wire in the bottom of the actual cape um, of the cloak. But you probably could slip a wire in there because there's yeah you probably could you know that look out and maybe put some wire in these as well which might look better but oh, i'll play around with it for quickly for the video looks really good doesn't it see so, yeah i thought i'd show you one of the actual like the holographic things with the con look at that that looks really cool doesn't it with the old uh, naboo uh, raw ship in hologram form really cool there's some really cool bits, some really nice little bit of extra detail. Yeah, I thought we'd have a good look at his actual face. I really do think it's really good, and it looks, look at that. My uh, my light is actually sort of picking off, picking off the light off his eyeball. It just looks so real. Very good. I've seen a lot of people who are not happy with this hair. Actually, people have actually gone and actually modified it. Some real serious. They've gone and bought, you know, like fake hair, cut this, cut this off, and actually glued real hair on into it and sort of brushed it and it, it's really good i'm surprised uh hot toys uh, didn't do that but they sort of don't do the hair like that really do they so but i think it's really good and uh you can you can't really see it but the actual there is weathering to the actual robes sort of here there's slight weathering to it i thought oh oh is it like that but yeah that's the way it comes so looks more used it looks very good loving it happy i got it it was one i've been on my radar because i'm a big fan of the phantom menace and they always say that you know qui-gon jim's one of the best characters in the actual film so so i thought we'd finish uh, just have a look at him on the turntable looks really good i'm loving it all the detail these boots are absolutely amazing the boots the detail on them i love it you know they, they're like using real leather leather air just love this and I forgot to say but it comes with the poncho see it's folded up on a bit of card I love that poncho so sort of the uh, Mamano name-esque thing uh, eventually I think I might actually get this out iron it and do a pose with this uh, I love that sort of poncho it's great hawks back to Luke wearing his this is such a cool thing I love all the detail all the bits on the belt it all comes velcroed and stitched you can all you can probably take all this off and bring it back to the dog because a lot of these have like a undersuit but uh this one hasn't but sort of like luke has an undersuit but yeah really good my first proper jedi yeah <laughs> in jedi gear i didn't think i'd get one of i like my troopers mostly but this one's really really good okay guys so uh, thanks for watching make sure you like subscribe leave some great comments I want to say a big thank you to all my patrons my channel members and as i said at the beginning there'll be the giveaway toy giveaway soon we'll do it in the next week or so maybe two weeks i've got to get a slot make sure i don't jump on anyone else doing a live stream <laughs> and uh look forward to it i can't wait to give away the figures should be good i'm going to do a say a live stream spinny wheel hopefully not sh and uh see who's la left and i'll boot a load of people out as i do and laugh at them <laughs> Okay, guys, see you on the next video. Bye.